Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video I honestly never thought I would do, and that is welcoming you to my Capacities Life OS. Up until early this year, I religiously used Notion for my Life OS and had done since October 2022, so it actually pre-exists my use of Capacities. Uh, and it worked really nicely. I had uh, a cool homepage set up and it really did help me achieve my goals and make me feel excellent. However, I had a bit of a scare with Notion when I tried to do an export of my space. This is something I do kind of every six months and it said it was too big to export. And for somebody that was like kind of wedded to it and was going to use it for much more time, that really scared me. And I just wanted to come to a space that felt safe, which capacity does to me and that I trusted more in that moment. Now, full transparency here, Notion then did export something. It took like seven or eight hours, but something did export and it's huge. So I imagine it is my space and I understand that big spaces do take a while to export. But the point is it scared me. And actually, I was kind of thinking about updating my systems anyway, because I've moved house, moved town, got a new job. Full transparency, I work for Capacities full time. This video is not part of that role, not getting paid for it. Uh, I just, I'm obsessed. Um, but I just wanted to update my systems a little bit. I keep saying it's like when you go through a breakup and you want to get a dramatic haircut, but good. But it's that kind of thing. New phase of life, new systems, new vibes to kind of go with it. That's genuinely how I'm seeing this. So, long story short, I'm no longer using Notion for my life OS. I'm using Capacities and today I'm going to show you what that looks like in its early form. It's not perfect, it's not finished, it will develop, but I think there is value in showing the journey of things as well as showing you a finished product. But no system is ever really finished, it's, it's always changing. So let's have a look. So Capacities itself is based on this central calendar. It's one of the three core pillars, time-based note-taking, and it works really well for note-taking, which I've explored in different videos. But it also works excellently for your life OS. So what I decided to do was create these time-based object types, hopefully fairly self-explanatory there, and embed blocks from those objects into my daily note template. So every single day I apply this template. Every week I update this, it's literally just one block. Every month I will update this and every quarter I'll update this. Well, it's really great, I really like it. You can also tell I'm very much in a like purpley mood at the moment, so I have that. And I also have my vision board and my word for the year, so I re remember what I'm working towards. So, let's have a look at these bits first. So, quarters. I'm just starting small with what I need. There's no need to start with, you know, everything. I don't know what my Q4 goals are yet. So, apparently I have a word of the quarter. I wasn't aware of that, but I think that's fair enough. And within here, I've got a link to the months. So obviously, when it comes to planning May, I'll put a link to May in here and I'll check in with my goals. I don't want to show those. Um, but yeah, this is that hub for my Q2 thinking. This is the block that is embedded in the daily note, as you can see by the number. And then we can click on April. And I have sort of in a similar vein, all of the weeks in here as well. And again, I embedded this um, block from the quarter page so I could have this in mind whilst thinking about what my monthly goals were. Um, and I have an area here for my weekly check-ins, which are embedded views of the week objects. And then at the end of the month, I will add parts of monthly review in here. And then we can click on weeks. This is this week. And I have a link to Essence, which I will discuss shortly, and um, something that I can help navigate around. Um, and that'd be really helpful throughout the year. And I'll just fill it out as and when. And I say what I want to do this week. And again, it's this that is embedded in the daily note. And I've got a little bit of a query that I'm testing out here. But that's the basic premise. You know, time is predictable. I know how many months are in a quarter and how many weeks are in a month and all of this. So you can just build it out. Um, building it out one month at a time seems perfectly reasonable and it's working nicely. This works obviously for like the forward thinking view, like remember what to do. And it helps me kind of plan my days to an extent or plan my weeks. But then obviously there's stuff that I need to track about my day. So like looking back and that's what this day object type is for. What I do is I create it from this list up here. Now you can't see it. If I go here, you will. 
because I've toggled on this setting that says show one per day. So if I click create for tomorrow, that creates an entry with tomorrow's date on. And if I go back to that list, it's now gone away because I've toggled that only one day can be created per day, if that makes sense. So anyway, back to today. Uh, if any date that's referenced will show up in this references thing here. So if I open it just with this little embed like toggle, I can now see what I want to track in a day. So I've got all of the forward looking stuff and all of the review looking stuff all in this central view because capacities is based around the central calendar. So I can write down what I was watching. If I saw any friends, what I'm reading, I read in the evening. So this is typically something that I fill out the next morning, what I'm wondering about and worrying about because that is part of my daily life. Um, what projects I worked on and where I am. So if I open this up, uh, you can see that this is a picture of York. York is where my family are and I was visiting them this weekend. So I put a picture of York in and said I was in York. That's actually a practice inspired by my dad. He traveled all over the world at his job and you can go through his diaries and see where he was each day of the year for like 30 years. I love it. So I'm doing the same. Um, yeah, and I don't particularly use this text at all. I use these properties and it works super nicely, as mentioned, because it embeds itself with no effort from me into this section here. So that's one part of the review. The next part of the review uh, happens per week and I do my weekly review. I actually do this in day one because I treat it like a journaling exercise. But there's also things I want to know about myself every week and... I put them here in my essence object type. Now, essence is something I need to get better at explaining because it's literally my core life philosophy. It, it's just everything that I am, to be quite honest. Essentially, I think of it that you can Google anything you want to Google. You can ask ChatGPT anything about anything, but if you don't capture information about yourself, no Google searches or AI assistant is gonna help you. And I know this because there are whole years of my life that I just don't remember in any depth because of bad things and that makes me really profoundly sad. So it became a life practice of mine to capture what I call traces of myself in regular intervals, whether that's daily with what I'm watching and who I'm seeing, weekly with the things that you can see here and it also will go monthly, quarterly and yearly as well. And then what I can do is I can review these together perhaps in a table format like this and get some insight and meaning about who I am as a person at a given time. So this is not a life OS prerequisite by any stretch of the imagination, but it certainly is for me. So I have that in there. So that's essence and traces and meaning and all this. I think about that a lot. Other two things that I would want to talk about before we go to the top of this list, to the more obvious things are milestones and sparks. Um, I like to celebrate the good in the everyday kind of part of this essence philosophy and that includes tracking milestones so if I click that plus milestone button I can add a milestone and because it has the date it will show up in my calendar automatically which I really enjoy and it will show up in this references section as well so I can see everything that was going on today super easily and then we have sparks I don't need an object for everything I watch, for everyone I see, for everything I read and everything else. And therefore, I have text properties for a lot of this because what I can do is type it out like that. And if I want to create an object, I can highlight it, click plus, and I choose to create a spark. This spark currently just has two properties which are inspired by one of my only sparks so far, which is all our yesterdays that I finished at the weekend and I gave it a rating and said when I finished it and so on. Some things I want to save, some things I don't. If I do want to save them, they're sparks. It's a very light touch way of dealing with what I'm looking at. Like on Sunday, I watched like five different things on Amazon Prime because I was by myself in the house and like, why not? But I didn't need to take notes on all of them. I could just use the text. So I did but some things I wanted to say a bit more about such as this so I made it an object and that in turn gave it its properties and its blocks so I could write this comment down and incorrectly spell because so that's that everything below here is kind of legacy 
I'm still working out how they're involved in my life OS. For example, I'm using a different recipe thing at the moment, so I think that's going to go, but we'll see. So I'll not talk about them now. And the final things are goals, areas and projects. This needs a bit of an update, but it's super simple in the sense that it's related to an area. I have never mapped areas before. I'm very new to this power thing. We've done some content about it for capacities and it was interesting to me. So I started thinking about it. This is what I've got so far. Um, we'll see, but I'm trying to get my French back because I'm losing it. Um, so that's connected to a goal. And then I have my projects. Some of these are quite big, such as hosting Christmas at my house and renovating our bathroom in the new house. But it's also that little things that I do on my laptop in the evening. So implementing power, making some content for PK and Beth, um, writing an essay about the book, actually the book that inspired Essence. So like, yeah, there's lots of little things. And basically this whole space is aimed at making sure I achieve the goals I want to achieve by reminding me the goals that I have and allowing me to collect Essence about myself in some way. Um, and seeing what I was up to as a person because I was not an active participant in my life for too many years and I wished to change that and this is what's helping me. Previously it was Notion and I don't wish to diminish Notion for what it is and what it can do. It worked excellently and as I say, unless I was scared by that export notification, I certainly wouldn't have left Notion at that time. Um, but I obviously love capacities, to be honest it has better vibes for me and yes I do measure things in vibes you know, it's my life, it's my job, it's my hobby, it's my work, like it's, it's really good fun for me, I love it. So I'm very happy here and everything happens for a reason, right? That's probably meant for like big life events, not changing from notion to capacities, but in my life that was a big event. So anyway, that's a whistle stop tour of my current capacities life OS with a sprinkling of my life philosophy in as well. I really like how this is turning out because to me it's actually now very hard not to work in this object setup it's hard not to work with a central daily note and it's hard not to work in a network note taking app in hindsight i was feeling some of this friction in notion but i was thinking well it works so just keep it so whilst i never expected i would fully make the switch to capacities perhaps it was inevitable who knows but all of this stuff your systems your life practices your goal setting practices everything i i personally very much view it as an experiment so this is the current version of my experiment and i'll be sure to update you with anything that i learn about capacities and learn about creating a life os in capacities uh, in future videos and yeah we'll just we'll just keep going and see what fun things we come up with but as mentioned a few times now this is working really nicely and I'd recommend building out a life OS in capacities if any of this has resonated with you. If you have any questions about this do let me know and as always check out the description for the written version of this because I'll put some screenshots in of each of the object types and how they are set up in case you would like to create your own. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!